Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. Vikings Valhalla just released and showcases a number of historical events. But as you're watching the series, you may be wondering just how much of this actually happened. In this video, we're going to discuss the historical accuracy of Vikings Valhalla. There will be spoilers for Vikings Valhalla, but if you do not wish to be spoiled, you can check out our spoiler for your view linked below. If you have any questions about the events in Vikings Valhalla, leave a comment below and we'll try to answer them as best we can. And if you want to know more about the plot and ending of Vikings Valhalla, you can find a link to that video below as well, alongside our video on what we expect out of Season 2 and when Season 2 is likely to release on Netflix. It's important to note that some of the Viking history is not well documented. In some cases, what we assume to be truth may actually be an exaggeration from stories that have been passed down. So it's okay for the writers of Vikings Valhalla to take some liberties with historical events, but most of the history related to Vikings in England was well documented and is soon to be fairly accurate. Vikings Valhalla starts off with the St. Bryce's Day Massacre, which did really happen. But before we get into that, Harold Sigurdsson's brother in the show, not Olaf, was head of the Viking force that guarded the King of England in the show. There was actually an elite group of Viking bodyguards known as the Vringian Guard. However, it was Harold Sigurdsson himself that was part of this elite force, not his brother. It should also be noted that his brother in the first episode is Sten Sigurdsson, who never actually existed. While Harold was the youngest of a large family, none of his older brothers were known as Sten. Also, none of the Varingian Guard ever served King Ethelred. But, St. Bryce's Day existed and was observed on November 13th. The St. Bryce's Day Massacre was also real and executed by King Ethelred in the year 1002. However, it was due more to the numerous Viking raids and less to the English nobles simply disliking the Vikings for being different. But there's probably a little bit of truth to both accounts. After the St. Bryce's Day Massacre, there was a retaliation by the Vikings, but it wasn't King Canute. It was actually his father, King Forkbeard, who led the attack. Canute was there and commanded warriors, but his father was in charge. Also, King Ethelred did not die before Forkbeard arrived in London, and instead fled the country with his two sons, one of which was Edmund. What the writers have done in Vikings Valhalla is combine Forkbeard's first invasion with Canute's invasion that occurred several years later, long after Forkbeard had avenged the St. Bryce's Day Massacre. During Canute's real invasion many years later, there was the Battle of Ascendon, which was very similar to the battle at London Bridge that was depicted in the show, except that it didn't take place at London Bridge, Leif Erikson was never there, and while Edmund was defeated, thanks in part to Mercia leaving the battle, Canute and Edmund simply split the country, as opposed to ruling equally like they did in the show. Edmund did actually die shortly after, and some do believe he was murdered, but in real life, Edmund had two sons that were banished by Canute after Edmund's death. However, Canute did marry Queen Emma and was also married to Queen Alfgafu. At the time, it was acceptable to marry again if the first marriage was through the pagan handfasting ceremony, as Forkbeard mentions in the show. However, the queen never sailed to England to claim the throne like she did in the show. Kattegat also never actually existed beyond being a body of water between Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Jal Hakon, leader of Kattegat in the show, was actually known as Hakon Sigurdsson and was a man in real life. He was ruler of Norway, where the fictional community Kattegat is located in the show, for about 20 years. Both the real and fictional characters had a strong belief in Norse gods. Finally, while Leif Erikson had nothing to do with Canute or Harold Sigurdsson, he did have a sister named Freydis. Both of them played a big role in the Viking exploration of North America, as Leif Erikson is famous for leading the first Europeans to North America. So as you can see, most of the major events in Vikings Valhalla did actually happen, but the people who were there and some of the finer details in Season 1 were added for dramatization and entertainment purposes. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions about characters or events in the first season of Vikings Valhalla, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Vikings.